This is a trap. How long must we do this before we move on? As soon as you put yourself in the box, other people can take those terms. So the evolution of those terms stopped. And then we got stuck with the division and exclusion. When you say trap, it raises important philosophical points. What do you mean by trap? Is this something that you are invited to go into and you get caught in it? Or is it something that you are devised for yourself, something that you decided to go in? People choose to do whatever they want to do at the end of the day. We tend to forget that we have a choice. There's nothing wrong with making arts about your identities. As artists, we have permission to talk about our own experiences. I would be a designer if I stayed at home. Difference has given me a voice. But sometimes, you don't have a choice. We all know that the government uses culture as a form of diplomacy, as it were. And then it becomes problematic when the type of works that we are making come into the mix. It influences the frameworks in which we're making them, the way in which they're being contextualised and presented within the international forum. All these ways of projecting our identities with the terms that we use are influenced by, or contained sometimes, by the bigger state politics. This discussion needs to be deconstructed. The thing that has changed for me is the context of where that debate was and where the debate is now. The problem it generated hasn't disappeared. We still have a situation where the word is too narrow. Terminology is transient. It's there for a purpose. It's a transient kind of position as opposed to something that identifies forever. This is where difference is depoliticized and commodifiable. As a consequence, it offers the dream of inclusionary empowerment as equal citizens in an unified nation, but seeks to suppress those who offer too great a challenge. A turning away from debates that have not been included.